I have an hour to get through 56 papers. I messed up. This is a bad idea. Let's get to it. Vertical symbolic regression. Uh-oh, I forgot to do the plus thing. Uh, new approach. Uh, da, da, da. Main idea is to follow a vertical discovery path where a learning process, learning symbolic expressions from internal data. I don't know, I don't know what this is. I don't care. No clue. Um, tracking skiers from the top to the bottom. Uh, tracking them in videos. Um, new benchmark data set. Uh, da, da, da. That's kind of cool. Um, I don't know. I ski and snowboard. I like the idea of being getting a full video automatically done for me from whatever slide cams or slope cams there are. Towards machines that trust. AI agents learn to trust in the trust game. Analyze the trust game. Well-known study in human behavior. Da, 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 da. Theoretical analysis of its use in RL. Um, methodical basis. Emergence of trust. Theorem determines the optimal fraction of money that the truster should transfer to the trustee in order to maximize expected reward. Da, 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 da. I don't like the selfish um, uh, approaches to alignment. I hate the economist approach. It's really stupid. Towards automatic support of software model evolution with large language models. Potential of LLM supporting evolution of software models. Uh, proposed approach that utilizes LLMs for model completion and discovering editing patterns and model histories of software systems. Cool, whatever. Time is encoded in the weights of fine-tuned language models. A concept of time vectors as a tool to customize language models specific time periods. Uh, oh, th isn't there a thing recently where um, if you uh, put uh, the date as December, then GPT-4 will give you shorter outputs? Vector percentage of direction and weight space that improves performance on text from the target time period. Interesting. Was this related to the paper at all? Or was it just like by chance came out just now? I don't know. To that um, December idea. The convex landscape of neural networks characterizing global optima and stationary points via lasso models. Novel approach to training using conflict optimization theory and sparse recovery models. Focus on two-layer neural networks with peak-size linear activations and show that these networks can be formulated as finite dimensional convex programs. Prove that these convex programs can be solved using standard convex solvers now upon limited high complexity when the rank of the beta metrics is bounded. No thank you. Statistical learning theory and Occam's raise the argument from empirical risk minimization. Episode justification for Occam's razor and statistical learning theory, which is a framework for analyzing machine learning methods. It's a principle that's simpler, blah, 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 aims to provide a qualified justification for Occam's razor and statistical learning theory by considering a mathematical guarantees provided by the method of empirical risk minimization. Core ingredients is are presented, including the concepts of binary classification, da, 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 learnability, uniform convergence. Da, 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 I don't think I care about that. Argues that the VC dimension is a robust notation of simplicity for hypothesis. I don't think I care about this. Stability of multi-agent learning in competitive networks, delaying the onset of chaos. Setting the behavior to uh, aim to understand how the degree of competition, exploration rate, and network convergence, connectivity impact the convergence of key learning. Um, use physical approach. I do like the idea of that one. Stability, what's it called? We're going to save that. Spokesbiz, an open corpus of conversational Polish. Wait, Polish like the language? Uh, I don't care. Solving long-run average reward robust MDPs via stochastic games. Uh, generalization of MDPs that take into account uncertainty and transition probabilities um, in each. In RMDPs, what's it called? A robust? Yeah, robust. Uh, transition is associated with uncertainty set rather than in a single probability value. Goals find a policy that maximizes the worst case expected payoff of overall possible choices of transition probabilities within the uncertainty sets. Uh, I am going to have to get into MDPs eventually, and I do like incorporating this because it sounds better than regular MDP. Um, probably not going to read it, but we'll see how it goes. Um, solving... Social learning in community structure graphs. 
problem of social learning, a heterogeneous environment where each agent can receive observations of different models or hypotheses. Consider a network of agents connected by a combination graph where the weights on the edges represent the level of trust between the agents. Traditional social learning strategy where agents update their beliefs on, based on their observations and the beliefs of their neighbors is shown to force all agents to converge to the same model. But the adaptive social learning strategy which incorporates an adaptation parameter allows for more diverse behavior, um, analyze convergence behavior in both strategies and show that under true social learning, all agents converge to a consensus subject of hypotheses that minimize an objective function. The subset may not necessarily be optimal for individual agents. On the other hand, adaptive learning, each agent can arrive at its own locally optimal solution depending on the network structure and the value of the adaptation parameters. I I know I eventually want to get into graph stuff, but not for a while. Um, where I'm going to download it anyways, it sounds cool. Uh, da, 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 social skills or degree the rise of skill-based hiring for AI and green jobs employees in the UK have started to adopt skill-based hiring practices for AI and green jobs as evidence with the increasing demand for employees with AI and green skills job postings in the AI and green domains require a broader set of skills compared to other job postings indicating the need for a diverse skill set in these emerging fields mention of formal education requirements has declined for AI roles while the demand for individual skills has increased uh, skills of a wage premium 16% similar to having a PhD suggesting that employers value these skills highly educational premium persists for green positions including the formal Education is still valued in this domain. Um, cool. Good to hear, I guess. I don't know. Rule extraction methods from feed forward neural networks. A systematic literature review. A systematic literature review on the rule extraction methods is really focus on application and supervised learning tasks. Goal of rule extraction is to generate understandable and interpretable rules from trained neural networks. It identifies and explores different approaches for rule extraction, providing a comprehensive overview of existing techniques. This stuff, cool, but like there's just no way to actually do it realistically for a big model, and big models matter. Even for like a billion parameter model, there's just no way to actually do it. So I don't actually care about um, that level of interpretability. Prompting hard or hardly prompting, prompt inversion for text-to-image diffusion models. Focus on the problem of prompt engineering and text-to-image diffusion models. Prompt engineering... Da, 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 da. Current approaches rely on embedding inversion to obtain prompts, but working with high-dimensional vector representations is challenging due to their lack of semantics and interpretability. To address this challenge, they propose a prompt inversion technique that directly obtains interpretable language prompts. The optimization problem from prompt inversion is discrete, and the space of prompts is exponentially large, making standard optimization techniques difficult to apply. To overcome this, they utilize a delayed projection scheme to optimize for prompt representative of the vocabulary space in the model. This sounds relevant to um, uh, Josh Buck in the Discord. Um, I'm going to, I think we're ahead on time, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Is my Discord even open? No, it's not. Never mind. Um, I'm going to think about it later. Perception Test 2023, a summary of the first challenge and outcome. Core assertion, first perception test challenge was organized to evaluate state-of-the-art perception models using the recently proposed perception task benchmark. Challenge consists of six tracks covering various tasks such as object tracking, point tracking, blah, 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 blah. Uh, mechanics. I don't really care actually about vision that much. That's not my thing. Peer-to-peer -peer learning plus consensus with non-IID data. Uh, investigate problem peer-to-peer -peer deep learning, distribute device collaborative train deep neural networks without exchanging raw training data or relying on a central server, focus on the challenge of training with non-IID data where the data is on each device is heterogeneous and not independently and only drawn from the same distribution. Uh, observe that model drift or divergence during local training followed by consensus steps leads to significant oscillations in test performance even in the case of IID data where local objectives are similar. There's still oscillations in test accuracy after local training and after the consensus phase. These oscillations are amplified in the case of non-IID data. Um, this sounds bad, but I, I think if you do this right and you're not making one model, then the oscillations might be good in a certain context, kind of like the um, wave brain thing. Uh, can experiments analyze the factors that contribute to these oscillations? Uh, I'm probably never going to read this, but I might send it to Ben one day. I don't know. Optimizing distributed training on Frontier for large language models. Uh, billions trillion parameters in the Frontier supercomputers is powered by AMD GPUs. Goals to optimize training process by exploring different distributed training techniques and frameworks. Discusses various distribution strategies including tensor parallelism, pipeline parallelism, and sh sharded data parallelism. Um, I, this is not a thing for me. I'm not a efficiency techie person. 
on a functional definition of intelligence. I'm going to add this one, I think. I want to know what his assertion is. There's a need for a precise definition of intelligence in order to advance research in AI and to inform the development of AI systems. They argue that the lack of consensus on the definition of intelligence hinders progress in the field and leads to confusion in public discourse. Totally. Um, don't worry, bud. I got you. I got you. Um, might take a while, but I, it's already written down. I just need to make it into a paper, and it's not my highest priority right now, so we will see. But I got you. Multigranularity information interaction framework for incomplete utterance rewriting. Uh, novel approach. Incomplete utterance rewriting. The aims to rewrite incomplete utterances into self-contained and semantically equivalent utterances. Others argue that capturing the source of important words is crucial for accurate rewriting and avoids the introduction of relevant words. I don't really know or care. Mini GPTs. Efficient large language models through contextual pruning. A novel approach, uh, developing many GPTs for smaller yet efficient versions of LLMs. Goals to reduce the computational demands of LLMs while maintaining or improving their performance. It builds upon previous work on model pruning and applies it to different domains such as law, healthcare, and finance. Uh, analyzing or removing less critical weights from linear layers, activation layers, embedding layers, LLMs. Pruning is done based on the normalized L1 norm of each neuron's output with a pruning threshold set for each data set. Presents the results of applying this methodology. Not my thing. Mind Planner, a benchmark for long horizon planning in large Minecraft worlds. A uh, new benchmark planning task based on the popular game Minecraft. Address challenge of long horizon planning in large domains of many objects. Provide a framework for generating Minecraft planning tasks, including specification of tasks, extraction of objects and states in the game, and generation of PDDL representations for planners. Present a collection of 45 tasks that were used to benchmark for planners. Don't care. Meta learning with very few samples per task. Problem meta learning with multitask learning, which are frameworks for solving a group of related ta learning tasks more efficiently than solving each task individually. Basically, the same sample complexity of these frameworks, specifically how many samples per task are needed and how many tasks need to be seen. There's all the papers, characterization is, I don't really care. Oh my god. Meta learning with versatile lost geometries for fast adaptation using mirror descent. A uh, framework for learning new tasks with limited data, but uh, just challenge of quickly adopt adapting the prior knowledge to train a task-specific model with NFE optimization steps. Propose learning a nonlinear mirror map, which induces a versatile distance metric to capture and optimize a wide range of lost geometries, thereby facilitating the per-task training process. I don't care or no. Uh. LLM in a flash, efficient large language model inference with limited memory. This is that Apple paper, um, and it apparently has crazy gains on advice limited memory capacity. Pose a method that stores the model parameters on flash memory and brings them on demand to DRAM during inference. Introduce two techniques to optimize the process, windowing and row column bundling. This is super cool if it actually works pretty well, which like look at those bars, the missing red. It looks like it looks works pretty fucking good. I can't tell what's happening here, actually, honestly, but um, some of the discourse in the paper, and I know Apple's all about those local models, um, so we're excited to see this happens. Um, I'm going to download it because I'm just kind of curious, even though I'm not an actual efficiency um, person. Uh, I do love me an Apple paper, and I want to know what the hell they're doing, and I want to rewrite their entire strategy because it's dumb right now. Llama VAE, guiding large language model generation via continuous latent sentence spaces. New approach called Llama VAE, combines variational autoencoder architecture with the large language models to improve control and generation of text. Encoder component of Llama VAE uses the sentence T5 model, while the decoder component uses the Llama model. Authors also introduce a novel approach called Invertible CVAE, which uses a flow... Okay. Experiments about performance. Um, they're just bringing encoders back in. I don't, want to, I don't want encoders. Why are you bringing back encoders? No, thank you. Learning human -like representations to enable learning human values. Relationship between representational alignment and value alignment in machine learning models. Representational alignment refers to the degree of agreement between the internal representations of humans and machines, while value alignment refers to the alignment of machine learning models with human values and societal norms. Representational alignment is a necessary condition for achieving value alignment. They conduct experiments in a multi arm bandit setting where an agent learns to take ethical actions based on morality scores associated with different actions. Measure the agent's representational alignment by comparing its learned similarity matrix with the ground truth similarity matrix based on human morality judgments. Whatever. 
Large language models. This is a very old paper. I remember correctly. Um, is this the one that's just like teaching LLMs people who are good at math? What is this? I forget. Um, introduction to LLMs for readers of the background in mathematics and physics. Yes. Um, I don't need to read this because I already know this stuff, but I know this is how people got into this, and I wish I had read this in the first place as well because this would be a way faster way for me to learn, I think, than the way I did go about it. Um, and I would like to just maybe skim through it one day and see if there's anything interesting in there. Um, that I'm missing, or like a cool interpretation from their point of view. Investigating color illusions from the perspective of computational color constancy. Uh, relation between color illusions and color constancy, two phenomena related to color processing in the human visual system. I argue that understanding this relationship can help improve the performance of color constancy algorithms and provide insights into human perception. A uh, simple approach to modify global color constancy algorithms to reproduce the behavior of the human visual system on color assimilation illusions. Um, I don't care. Human-Centered Learning Analytics and AI in Education and Systematic Literature Review. Uh, application of human-centered design principles in the field of learning analytics, artificial intelligence, and education. Uh, uh, the authors aim to explore the current state of the human-centered LA, AI, blah, 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 research to extend to which educational stakeholders have been involved in the design process, balance between human control and computer automation in these systems, and consideration of safety. I don't care. Generative multimodal models are in-context learners. Uh, EMU2 generative multimodal model with 37 billion parameters trained on large-scale multimodal sequences. They demonstrate that scaling up multimodal models can significantly enhance their in-context learning abilities. EMU2 is trained with a unified autoregressive objective, predicting the next multimodal element in the sequence. Model is evaluated on various multimodal tasks, including visual question answering, image generation, instruction following. Cool. Um... This, I wonder if they do it the way I've been thinking of. I've not gotten into multimodality, but I think I know how the best way to do it would be in terms of a multimodal uh, token predictor. I'm just kind of curious. I'm going to add it. Maybe I'll read it at some point. Probably not. Founder GPT, self-play to evaluate the founder idea fit. A method to evaluate this match between a startup founder's skills and their business idea known as the founder idea fit. We use advanced language models to assess founders' profiles against their startup ideas and enhance decision making. Uh, involve pre-processing founder and company profiles, converting them into embeddings and capture the nuance of the data. Use NLP similarity techniques to calculate similarity between the score between the input founder and the data set. Uh, input a prompt engineering technique such as chain of thought, blah, 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 blah. Results show that the method was able to identify successful founder features, success such as subjective subject experience, expertise, prior experience, innovation, and termination. Evaluation of the founder's likelihood of success was done through a step-by-step -step analysis by multiple experts, resulting in the final score. Interesting. Um, kind of cool sounding, I'm not going to lie. Uh, do, 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 where is this? I think we're good on time. I think we're totally fine on time. I think I've been speeding through this so far more than usual. Federated learning while providing model as a service. Joint training and inference optimization. I already want to download this one. I really have not had time to get super into um, all this stuff, the federated learning stuff, and I would like to eventually, but it's definitely not a priority right now. It's more of like a backlog I'm making for myself. Federated continual novel class learning, a uh, novel framework that addresses the problem of federated continual novel class learning in the context of federated learning, refers the ability of FL models to discover and learn novel classes in a dynamic, continually changing data distribution, propose GAL as a solution to merge and align novel classes discovered by different participants. Cool. Hmm. Fed QSSL, a framework for personalized federated learning under bit width and data heterogeneity. Uh, propose a novel blah, 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 plot which just challenges heterogeneity in both data distribution and device bit width in federated learning systems. Highlight that existing federated learning algorithms do not consider the variation in bit width capabilities of different devices, which can lead to suboptimal performance. Also, note that data heterogeneity across clients can result in different local objectives, further degrading the performance of the global model. Two steps to address, I don't care. Fed CO2, cooperation of offline and online and offline models for severe data heterogeneity in federated learning. A uh, novel federated learning framework called Fed CO2 address blah, 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 consists of two models for each client, an online model that learns general knowledge shared among all clients and an offline model that is trained locally to learn specialized knowledge. Online models personalized by adapting the batch normalization layers will offline models fully personalized 
Two models cooperate through prediction. Fusion where their predictions are combined to improve performance. This sounds cool and relevant to my idea. Um, I won't get to it for a very long time. As always, my federated stuff. Fast and knowledge-free deep learning for general game playing. It's a student abstract, huh? Uh, propose a method for adapting the Alpha Zero model to general game playing that requires less knowledge to be extracted from the game rules and focuses on faster model generation. Uh, make modifications to the original Alpha Zero approach to address the issues of action space and board topology. Uh, very cool. Not my thing right now, though. Exploring the residual stream of transformers. Uh, explore its interpretability of the models. Aim to answer several important questions about the mechanism behind the model's ability to make accurate predictions and locate the important parameters storing the knowledge for prediction. Analyze distribution change and the residual connection of transformers. Find that the distribution change is caused by direct addition function on the before softmax values. The specific probabilities of tokens with larger before softmax values will increase. This finding helps explain why certain tokens have higher probabilities in the final prediction. Um, um, love me some interpretability stuff that actually sounds interesting, not just like explain away for business reasons. Entropic open set active learning, a novel framework for active learning in the open set, set setting where the unlabeled data contains both known and unknown categories. Goal of AL is to select the most informative samples for annotations to improve the performance of deep learning models. Existing AL methods are not effective in the open set setting as they do not efficiently utilize unknown samples obtained during AL rounds. Proposed framework leverages both known and unknown distributions to select information, informative samples during AL rounds. Utilizes two entropy scores to effectively separate known and unknown samples. First entropy score measures the uncertainty of a sample with respect to the known class distributions, while the second entropy score measures the uncertainty of the sample with respect to the unknown class distributions. I don't know what any of that meant, really. Actually, I, I know the general thing, but like, I don't... Eh. Enhancing optimization through innovation, the multi-strategy improved Black Widow optimization algorithm. Core assertion, this new algorithm enhances the performance of the standard Black Widow algorithm in solving complex automation problems, integrates four key strategies. Tent map, chaotic initialization, mutation of inferior solutions, nonlinear inertia weight. I don't know anything that's happening here. No clue. Emergence of in-context reinforcement learning from noise distillation. A uh, method called ADE, which leverage AD epsilon, which leverages demonstrations to enable in-context reinforcement learning. In-context reinforcement learning is a field that focuses on generalizing to unseen tasks through interaction with the environments. Traditional approaches to training RL agents involve training single goal agents and using their training histories for further pre-training. Another strategy involves training agents in arbitrary histories and deriving target actions from the optimal policy. These methods have limitations such as the need for RL agent training or access to the optimal policy. Um, sounds kind of relevant to something, somewhere. I don't know what, but to something. Efficient title re-ranker for fast and improved knowledge intense NLP. Novel technique to improve speed and performance of title re-ranking and retrieval augmented generation tasks. ETR approach involves re-ranking only the titles of retrieved passages, which significantly reduces the number of tokens to be re-ranked compared to re-ranking the entire passages. To further improve efficiency, the author has introduced the broadcasting query encoder technique, which encodes the query once... I don't know what's happening here. No clue. Distribution-dependent rates for multi-distribution learning. Uh, we've got uh, problem modeling uncertainty in machine learning applications by considering the setup of distributionally robust optimization. Six to find good performance across a variety of distributions rather than just a single one. Focus on recent framework for multi-distributed learning where the learner has access to multiple target distributions and aims to achieve good performance uniformly across them. That sounds kind of cool. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo, distribution, what the heck? Distributed learning of mixture of experts proposes a distributed learning approach to mixture of experts models, which are used for prediction tasks and machine learning. Addresses the problem of training MOE models and decentralized large data sets by developing an aggregation strategy to construct a reduction estimator from local estimators fitted on distributed subsets of the data. 
Cool. Not a big MOE guy personally right now, although I will be later, of course. Um, distributed inference and fine tuning of large language models over the internet. Uh, oh, it's Hugging Face. Cool. Um, do, 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 do. DPO, your language model is secretly a reward model. Thank you. Thank you. New algorithm called DPO for training language models to align with human preferences. Goal is to control the behavior of LMs and ensure that they generate responses that are desirable to humans. Existing methods for achieving this typically use reinforcement learning human feedback, which involves fitting a reward model to human preferences and then fine-tuning the LM using reinforcement learning to maximize its reward. But RLHF is complex, computationally expensive. DPO offers a simple, more efficient alternative to RLHF. It leverages a mapping between reward functions and optimal policies to directly optimize policy of the LM using a single strategy of policy training. Eliminates the need for fitting a reward model sampling from the LM during fine-tuning or performing sense hyperparameter tuning. Formulates the optimization problem as a binary classification task on the human preference data, allowing for stable and performant training. Uh, I don't think it's actually as relevant as I thought it was at first, but it sounds close enough. And of course, I'll be deleting three quarters of these anyways later on, like months down the line, so who cares? Critic guided decision transformer for on offline reinforcement learning. Prevailing return conditions supervised learning methods in offline reinforcement learning struggle in stochastic environments and scenarios involving stitching abilities due to the inconsistency between the sampled target returns and the expected returns of actions. I don't know what that means. Value based methods which leverage a value function. I don't care. Continual learning, forget free winning subnetworks for video representations. Novel approach uh, for continual learning tasks. It utilizes reused weights and dense networks to enhance learning in the task incremental learning scenarios. Also introduce so soft subnetworks to mitigate overfitting and few shot class incremental learning limitations in video incremental learning scenarios due to the sparse reused weights. Whatever. Concept-based explainable artificial intelligence, a survey, a uh, comprehensive survey, concept-based with artificial intelligence methods, authors address the need for more transparent, reliable AI models by focusing on concept-based explanations to provide a more holistic view of the models and decision-making process, defines and categorizes different types of concepts, including symbolic, I don't care about those kinds of concepts. They're useless. Collaborative optimization of the, in, of the age of information under partial observability, uh, focus on the problem of minimizing the age of information in a multi-agent system where an agent share a limited capacity channel to transmit their messages to a receiver. AOI represents the freshness of information in the receiver and minimizing it is crucial for real-time applications. Consider a system where agents have partial observability due to random delays in the channel. This means the agents do not have instantaneous information about their updated AOI at the receiver. To address this partial observability, authors propose a bootstrap particle to filter that maintains a belief over the true AOI of each agent. This filter uses the delayed out of order. I don't know what this means. <clears throat> Climate change from large language models. Method to evaluate um, the knowledge of LLMs regarding the climate crisis. What? I don't care about that. They just lack comprehensive assessment of climate crisis knowledge of the LLMs by... Uh, who cares? Who cares? CERN for AGI, a theoretical framework for autonomous simulation based artificial intelligence testing and alignment. <coughs> yes, please. Proposed theoretical framework for testing and aligning artificial general intelligence and large language models using a simultaneous simulation based approach. Argue that as LMs become more advanced and widely used, crucial to address challenges such as ethical alignment, controllability, and predictability. Propose these for a virtual reality framework populated by automated. Digital citizens to simulate complex social structures and interactions, providing a dynamic platform for AGI testing and optimization. How the importance of multidisciplinary approaches and AGI development and testing suggests integrating theories from sociology, etc. This, I'm sorry, but you can't just give them simpler LLMs to interact with. You can't just give the AGI simple LLMs to interact with. You've got to actually just put it out into the world. Um, I'm still going to read this, though, at some point. I'd like to anyways. Sounds like an easy skim. Celestial Machine Learning. What the heck? Uh, aimed to use AI Feynman, a symbolic regression algorithm to rediscover the orbital equations of Mars from astronomical observations. Extend AI Feynman to incorporate biases that inform the algorithm about the heliocentricity in planetar 
planarity of Mars's orbit, which were paradigm shifts by, made by Johannes, Johannes, Johannes Kepler in his discovery of the elliptical orbits of Mars. Proposed two algorithms. I don't care. Capture the flag. Uncovering data insights with large language models. Explore potential of using LLMs to automate the discovery of insights in data. Propose a new evaluation methodology based on capture the flag principle, where the goal is to measure the ability of LLM-based agents to recognize meaningful and pertinent information in a data set, aka flags. Two proof of concept agents, the explorer agent and the aggregator agent. Explorer agent follows a top-down approach, generating questions and code to answer them, while the aggregator agent takes a bottom-up approach, aggregating data and scanning for anomalies. Both agents aim to extract insights from the data and identify planted flags. Do other agents, the others use the Adidas sales data set and manually introduce corruption to create flags. Assess the agent's ability to recover these flags and evaluate the relevance, consistency, and accuracy of the extracted insights. This is super big. Like, as good as the LLMs are now at regular through code data cleaning and at just data analysis using SQL and Python and whatnot, there's still a huge problem of like them just not recognizing when data doesn't look right. Because how are you going to read a CSV file? Like, that's just too hard to do for an LLM that simply, right? So this sounds like they're using some kind of setup where um, I think the one of them looks at the data in smaller chunks and looks for anomalies and, and I guess maybe across individual rows, individual columns, or like blocks maybe. I don't know how they're doing it. And then the other one goes top down with questions and code. Super interesting. I like the idea. Um, I can't wait to get data analysts the hell out of here because the problem so far, the reason we haven't been able to automate away like most data analysts is um, not because like GPT-4 can't do it. Um, given give good given good prompting and like a expensive amount of AP, API calls, you can definitely get GPT-4 to do as well as a lot of data analysts on like clean academic style data problems. But real world data problems, um, when you're uh, actually receiving real data, which is formatted absolutely atrociously. Um, the shit I would see coming from big companies where I was just like, oh my God, I know you have cleaner data than this. Well, I was in legal domain and they were like, they don't want to give me stuff. They just like, they would try to make it hard on us, like purposely make it hard on us because of the whole like legal suing them stuff. But like, I'm telling you, I saw the worst ugly data you will ever see in your life. Uh, just absolutely atrocious shit. Like the uh, boggled my mind, absolutely boggled my mind. Um, by far worst uh, worst case of it is um, Chinese companies. They will just fuck with you. Uh, capture the flag. I wanted to download this one. Where is it? Chinese. I was um, mainly doing phone companies and tech companies in general, mostly phone companies. Um, uh, yeah, like Chinese ones like OnePlus and uh, Oppo and I think maybe Zilinx. Is that what I'm thinking of? Zilinx? Um, absolutely atrocious data. Oh, ZTE is I'm thinking of. ZTE is the terrible one. Oh, my God. Cache transformers, improving transformers with differentiable memory cache. Core assertion is the introduction of a new transformer model called cache transformer, which incorporates a gated recurrent cache to extend the self-attention mechanism with a differentiable memory cache of tokens. GRC allows the model to attend to both past and current tokens, increasing the receptive field of attention and the exploration of long-range dependencies. Yes, I'm going to read this. Um, I need to do more lit review for my current um, architecture before I move on with it, I think. I'm going to have to big learning expectation maximization new algorithm for training mixture models it's an upgrade to conventional expectation maximization algorithms and leverages the big learning principle to inspire by recent foundation models simultaneously performs joint marginal and orthogonally transform marginal matchings between data and model distributions which helps overcome the bad local i don't know what that means Assist GUI, task-oriented desktop graphical user interface automation. A new benchmark that's focused on task-oriented desktop graphical user interface automation uh, evaluates the ability of models to manipulate the mouse and keyboard on the Windows platform in response to user-requested tasks. Click a set of 100 tasks from nine popular software applications, such as After Effects and Microsoft Word, each accompanied by instructional videos and project files for evaluation. Very cool, very cool. Um, all right, that is it for today. As always, if you want to read these summaries, check out my Substack link in description. It also has prereq knowledge that you should know before reading said paper, citations that are probably incorrect. Um, and if you want to talk about this stuff, hop on my Discord, also link in description. Please hit the bell, subscribe, all the YouTube things, you know. Uh, yeah, end of video.